Friends, it's a pleasure to address you at the Eurogames 2024. These games are vital, offering a safe space for athletes and fans from all walks of life. They welcome and include so many wonderful athletes, challenge stereotypes and empower LGBTIQ plus people to embrace their true selves and to engage equally in the world of sport. Many more spaces like this are needed. In sport, as in other areas, we still see far too much hate, discrimination and exclusion directed at LGBTIQ plus people. Around the world, including in Europe, anti-LGBTIQ plus narratives are increasing at an alarming level and they seek to roll back progress on human rights and gender equality and attempts to ban information about and discussion of sexual orientation and gender identity. Violence against LGBTIQ plus people has increased in Europe in the past five years. According to some studies, fewer than one in five people report that they feel able to report such attacks to authorities. There are still not enough avenues for appropriate remedy and accountability for victims. But thanks to the tireless efforts of LGBTIQ plus human rights defenders and civil society, often working in difficult circumstances, important progress has occurred. And we must not lose sight of this, of the achievements that have been made. Globally, decriminalization of consensual same-sex relationships has picked up speed, including in Africa, Asia, and the Caribbean. More and more states, including in Europe, are banning discrimination, combating hate crimes, recognizing gender identities based on self-identification, ensuring marriage equality, and prohibiting so-called conversion therapy and, and harmful practice against intersex children. In the world of sport, more federations and events are adopting human rights policies. The International Olympic Committee Framework on Fairness, Inclusion and Non-Discrimination on the Basis of Gender Identity and Sex Variations is a welcome step. But there is still a long way to go to ensure full respect for human rights in sport. The main responsibility lies with states, fully and proactively to address these issues, to ensure victims can access remedies, and to prevent further violations. But others too have an important role to play. Sports federations must walk the talk of zero tolerance. Too many of them still have discriminatory policies in place, so we need to see stronger efforts in that regard to implement the IOC framework in line with human rights standards and by addressing acts of discrimination when they occur. Also, coaches, clubs and athletes and educators need to do everything they can to ensure sport, sport is open to everyone at all levels, including in schools, community, amateur and professional sport. Celebrating the richness and diversity of our human family. Friends, at their core, sports and human rights both promote fairness, respect and equal opportunities for all. They have transformative power to promote inclusion and to unite. Thank you to each of you for advancing human rights, not just during these Eurogames, but also back at home and in your communities. Thank you.